Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Heidi, and thank you so much for joining me for Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today is the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In our gospel, Jesus will remind us to always ask God for help. Our gathering song will remind us that God loves us so much that he never wants us to stop asking him for help. Let's remember how to sign the word love. Make fists with both hands and cross them over your chest. Nicely done. Let's try it again. Good work. Now let's learn how to sign the words all around in American Sign Language. Take your right hand and hold it flat like this. Then we'll move our hand out in a circle. Good. Want to try one more time? Hand flat and move in a circle. Good. We'll use these signs in our gathering song, which is called God's Love Is. Sing along with me. God's love is bigger than the biggest mountain, deeper than the deepest sea, taller than the tallest tree. It's there for you and me. God's love is stronger than the strongest person, brighter than the brightest star. Warmer than the warmest day, God's love is in my heart Because God loves me, God loves me Clap your hands in the air, reach up and touch the sky Put your hands on your heart, love is all around God's love is bigger than the biggest mountain Deeper than the deepest sea Taller than the tallest tree, it's there for you and me. God's love is stronger than the strongest person, brighter than the brightest star, warmer than the warmest day. God's love is in my heart because God loves me. God loves me. With your arms in the air, now put your hands on your head. Give yourself a big hug, love is all around. God's love is bigger than the biggest mountain, deeper than the deepest sea, taller than the tallest tree. It's there for you and me. God's love is stronger than the strongest person, brighter than the brightest star, warmer than the warmest day. God's love is in my heart. Because God loves me, God loves me, God loves me. Great singing, boys and girls. Let's take a look at our coloring page this week. Here's Jesus, and here's some of his disciples or followers. Let's see what Jesus is saying. Never stop asking God for help. Now let's read what's at the top. Pray always and never give up. In our gospel today, Jesus will tell us a story about someone who never gave up, just like we should never give up when praying to our Lord. Now let's light a candle to show that we're ready to listen to God's word. In today's first reading, St. Paul tells St. Timothy how to help his fellow Christians keep their faith alive until Jesus comes again. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. When Christ Jesus comes as king, he will be the judge of everyone, whether they are living or dead. So with God and Christ as witnesses, I command you to preach God's message. Do it willingly, even if it is not the popular thing to do. 
You must correct people and point out their sins, but also cheer them up. And when you instruct them, always be patient. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. This reading had some really good advice from, wait a second, who wrote this letter again? Oh yes, St. Paul. First, St. Paul reminded us that Jesus would come back a second time to judge everyone, whether they were alive or dead. This is called Jesus' second coming. He also told us to tell the good news of Jesus even if it's not the popular or easy thing to do. So be brave and tell the good news, both in your words and in the way that you act each day. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm, which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. When will help come to me? My help is from the Is your guardian. Do you remember hearing this part of the psalm, boys and girls? Do you know what a guardian is? Take a guess. Well, maybe you know about your guardian angel, the angel who watches over you every day. A guardian watches over you and guards you. And so when we call the Lord our guardian, we mean that God guards us and protects us. Thank you, Lord, for helping us and protecting us. Now it's time to stand up and get ready for the gospel. Sing Alleluia with me when I raise my hand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. come to praise the glory of your name, gather to hear the word of our God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
In today's gospel, Jesus tells us a story about a widow who will lose her home if a judge doesn't help her win an important argument in court. Notice how she convinces him to help her. The Lord be with you. And we say together, and with your spirit. Can you say that? And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And we say together, glory to you, O Lord. Make a little cross on your forehead, on your lips, and on your heart. Jesus told his disciples a story about how they should keep on praying and never give up. In a town, there was once a judge who didn't fear God or care about people. In that same town, there was a widow who kept going to the judge and saying, make sure that I get fair treatment in court. For a while, the judge refused to do anything. Finally, he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care about people, I will help this widow because she keeps on bothering me. If I don't help her, she will wear me out. The Lord said, Think about what that crooked judge said. Won't God protect his chosen ones who pray to him day and night? Won't he be concerned about them? He will surely hurry and help them. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find on this earth anyone with faith? The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. Today we heard a story about a widow or a woman whose husband had died. That's what a widow is. At that time, widows had no one to help them. So widows needed help, otherwise they might lose everything they had and have to beg in the streets. This widow in the story had to see a judge for help, but the judge wasn't being fair to her. She didn't give up, though. The widow kept asking and asking, and finally the judge gave her what she was asking for. Boys and girls, have you heard of the saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But we don't give up when something is hard, right? Just like when we learn to ride our bikes, we have to keep trying day after day until we figure out how to do it and get better at it. This saying is also true for when we pray. When we need something from God, we should pray and pray again until we have an answer. Sometimes our prayer will be answered and sometimes it won't. But that doesn't mean that God didn't hear our prayer. Think about how Jesus suffered in the Garden of Gethsemane before he died. He asked that his cross be taken away if it was God's will so that he wouldn't have to suffer. But God sent an angel to comfort him when his cross couldn't be taken away. Strengthened by God, Jesus was able to go through the hard times ahead and find his reward on the other side of death resurrection, and everlasting joy and glory. That's why keep praying until something happens is good advice. Something will happen either outside of us or inside us. And God will be there to comfort us if it's not the answer we were hoping for. So never stop asking God for help, boys and girls. And let's be open to God's plan for us. Let's say, Lord, I will pray always and never give up. Your turn. Lord, I will pray always and never give up. Good job. Now we get to sing a song to say what we believe in, to profess our faith. Your part will be, yes, Lord, I believe. Sing along with me. 
Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe he rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. The Catholic Church and communion of saints? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe. That we will rise to life again? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. This is our faith which we profess. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. I believe, I do believe. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful where we bring our prayers to God. Let us pray to our loving God, who is not like the crooked judge in today's gospel, but always stands ready to help us in times of need. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all church leaders will always defend the weak and powerless. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, Lord, hear our prayer. That all the judges and juries in our land will always be fair, honest, and loving in their decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, Lord, hear our prayer the people of our parishes will pray always and be steady in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it's our turn to bring our prayers to God, either out loud or in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in today's gospel, your Son taught us to pray always and never lose heart. May your Holy Spirit living within and among us remind us of this important message whenever we are in trouble and need your help. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. Good job. This ends today's Children's Liturgy, boys and girls, but don't worry. 
there's still more you can do now to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Use the link below to download the Pray Always coloring page. Thanks for sending in your lovely artwork to us. We'll show your coloring pages at the end of this week or next week's episode. If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or freehand faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com by Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll show your artwork on an upcoming episode. Miss Heidi is proud to partner with Bayard for family and child faith formation to order Children Celebrate Children's Liturgy Leaders Guide or Leaflets, the Living with Christ Sunday Missal for Young Catholics, Flom Gospel Weeklies, or John Berlin's Religious Music, visit BayardFaithResources.com. Receive 15% off select items with promo code Miss Heidi. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's Word with me today. Stay well. God bless you. And remember that Jesus loves you. We come together to celebrate. We come together to celebrate. We come together to join as one. We come together to join as one. To thank you, God, for all the gifts we have. To thank you, God, for loving us each day. To thank you, God, for all the gifts we have. To thank you, God, for loving us each day. We come together to hear God's word. We come together to hear God's word. We come together to share with God. We come together to share with God. To thank you, God, for all the gifts we have. To thank you, God, for loving us each day. To thank you, God, for all the gifts we have. To thank you, God, for loving us each day. We come together as a family. We come together as a family. We come together to praise God's name. We come together to praise God's name. To thank you, God, for all the gifts we have. To thank you, God, for loving us each day. To thank you, God, for all the gifts we have. To thank you, God, for loving us each day. Call to serve your neighbor humbly in faith. The meek and the lowly see God's face. The power of the Spirit breathe you as you go. Carrying the good news of God's grace. Now go, now go, go out and tell the world that every nation hear my voice. Now go, now go, go out and live my word. with a